this topic will be very interesting for you. You will know how even metaphors that uh, you are very well familiar with. Here, language and gender are also related with each other. How and uh, in what way? Let's try to know this. First of all, we define metaphor again, though you know it, a proper definition is due. Metaphors are linguistic device of labeling a thing or person that belongs to one domain. By using a label associated with a different domain. See, technically, the domain from which we take the label, we call it source domain, and the domain to which we apply that label, we call it target domain. So, having uh, known about metaphor, we proceed now. When you change label of a person or entity, you give it label from some other domain, what would happen? Mentally, perceptually, you start thinking about that person according to that label and everything that is associated with that label. For example, you say, my leader is a wolf. If you see Turkish dramas, especially historical Turkish drama, the hero Alep is being called rebellious wolf by Christians in that drama. They call him rebellious wolf and wolf is a sign of bravery, etc. in Turkish history. Now, the leader is from human being domain. The wolf is from animal domain. When you say my leader is wolf, you start thinking about leader like a wolf. This is what we mean by metaphor. Proverbs and fables, they are actually metaphors, extended metaphors. We talk morality and wisdom in domains of animals, birds, things of nature, etc. When we talk about these abstract things, morals, norms, values, about truth, etc., about bravery, something like that are something about uh, wise actions. So these things are abstract. To present them in a concrete way, we use proverbs and fables as metaphors. In our course, I would give an example. For example, uh, you might have seen cartoons in which even trees, insects, everything talks and they ultimately convey some moral message to the child. In our course on language and gender, who produces what metaphors and for what purpose? This is important. This means what is application of this concept of metaphor in our course. It matters a lot because it would help us to understand at what level of our perception language is connected with gender. This is so because why metaphor is important, how is it helpful to understand this relationship because our thought is organized. It is organized in form of metaphors and all actions which we perform, we may understand them by relating them with metaphor. Metaphor would relate them with our thought. This is how we can have access to thought through metaphor. Even when we use non-metaphorical utterances, where we see uh, uh, no obvious involvement of any metaphorical element or term. Even then, metaphor is there. 
I would give one example. For example, this is very common. We often say, I see what you mean. Our, uh, he, uh, her story provides insight into depression. Now see, see and insight, they are related with vision. Now, here, vision is used. The terms of the domain of vision are used to understand our perception, our understanding, our interpretation. So, same is the case with such examples when a person often says, save your time, don't waste your time, manage your time. Ultimately, we see that a metaphor is working behind that. Time is money. Time is money. So, this is how we can reach uh, the thought of that person who thinks in these terms. So, we conclude metaphors are source of creating new meaning because when, use, when we use metaphors, so we introduce new meanings in the text in our talk, number one. And number two, they represent our thought patterns which are not directly visible or approachable. Metaphors help us understand our activities in this world.